Ozzy, 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 Oi! Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. So we've learnt lots about the Aboriginal culture. Now we're gonna read an Aboriginal book together and it's called My Culture and Me. My Culture and Me. And it's by Greg Dries. From the ground, Earth Mother, red ochre sprayed over hands from the colours of the rainbow, always seen throughout my land. The colourful dots of the outback painted along a wandering line. The waving lines of the rivers, tantalising a refreshing shine. Look at these beautiful Aboriginal dot paintings. And look over here in the cave, we've got some traditional paintings done with ochre. Feel the yellow of the sunset turning orange across my land. Touch the cool sparkling water as it pours through your hand. See the dance of the fire burning beautifully into the night and the black of the charcoal that was once so very bright. See over here, they're starting the fire with the two sticks. And do we remember what that's called? That's right, we used one of those to start the fire in the smoking ceremony, didn't we? And it's called a hand drill. Shiver at the cold of the ochre as it transforms and decorates me. Rise with the spirit of the dancers as we prepare for corroboree. So corroboree is another name for song and dance or a ceremony. And see they're using the ochre to paint their bodies. Envelop the feeling of the didgeridoo as spirits rise with the sound. Soar with the pulse of the harmonies as feet stamp percussion on the ground. See, they're using their feet to make music. And do we remember what another name for the didgeridoo is? A yidiki. Good job, kids. Feel the rhythm of the music from your heart down to your feet. Enjoy the movements of melodies as clapsticks keep a strong beat. See the man, he's over here dancing and he's got his ochre painted on his body. And this man is also painted with ochre and he's playing the yidiki and he's tapping his clapstick on the yidiki to keep the beat. Feel the embrace of family, knowing that we have made each other proud. Enjoy that sense of belonging as we laugh so very loud. I see the pride in the elders, their shining smiles stretch to their ears. I feel the rise in my confidence, knowing the culture we have maintained for years. Because Aboriginal culture has been around for so many years, hasn't it? Thousands and thousands of years. I look and listen to the wisdom of what the elders have to say. I learn, respect and remember, as it will be our responsibility one day. See, the young boy is learning all about the Aboriginal culture from his elders. We need to look after and honour our connection to our lands. We must listen to the spirits from our hearts to our hands. We need to always remember to keep our culture glowing inside. We must learn our traditions and always be filled with pride. This is my culture. This is me. What a great book, kids. It's all about this young boy learning the traditions, the history of the rich Aboriginal culture, which has been passed down through his elders for thousands and thousands of years. I hope you learnt lots about Aboriginal culture and I encourage you to go and learn lots about your culture, whatever that may be. Kids, we'll see you on our next video. Until then, stay keen. Oh,
If you haven't already, make sure you get a grown up to help you hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any of the new and exciting videos that we put out. Speaking of new and exciting, if there's a video that you'd love to see Aussie do, make sure you send us a message on our socials, on Facebook or Instagram at Aussie for Kids. We'll see you again soon kids, and until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right, stay keen kids. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of